Okay, hi, I'm Kat Shea, and this is Trailers from Hell. I am doing the trailer for Altered States, which is one of my favorite movies because I so identify with the character that William Hurt plays, Eddie Jessup. I, too, do experiments on my brain to find my primordial self. I know that sounds like a joke, but it's the absolute truth. I've used an immersion tank, and, um, okay, we're not going to turn into apes and go running down the street, but I, I really think that the ape thing is symbolic. It's the idea that we might be able to find out who we truly are, that we might find our true selves, um, our connection with the infinite. Uh, Eddie seemed to be onto something when he went to Mexico and he had this psychedelic experience that had to do with religion, the devil, his marriage, all sorts of interesting things. I love Ken Russell's montage after Eddie drinks the potion that's mixed with his blood. The scene was a little bit violent, but very mystical, and it was very advanced for the time. I, I think that my brain, at least, didn't take it all in at the time. It was sort of a subliminal experience. Um, Pre-MTV days, I'm not sure that I was able to take in such fast cuts and really process it. I used to use hypnosis, meditation, and an immersion tank to get to states where I could fully connect with the infinite, all creative energy. I use sound technology now, and when I first started experimenting with it, I felt like I was crazy. I felt like I was doing something really dangerous. If I did too much, I'd get really edgy for about a week, and then I'd be more creative and focused. I've since combined it with really powerful meditation I developed. Our brain works better when the right and left sides are balanced, and I've always been more right brain dominant it and definitely better at solving creative problems than anything logical or technical. This meditation with the sound technology balances the brain so it's really pushing on it. I didn't have any proof of how well it was working until I went to the Conscious Life Expo and at one of the booths they had a video that was the outline of a girl spinning. It looked to me as if she were spinning to the right and the vendor said she was actually going both ways. But the way you perceive it determines whether you're right or left brain dominant. So I said, oh, okay, and then turned her to the left. My friend Diane, who was a really surprised, turned to me and said, it's the meditation. I could spin the girl back and forth at will. I could go right, left, right, left, and just spin her wherever I wanted her to go. It was interesting proof. Then I recently realized that I'd written a more plot-driven script than I'd ever written without a partner. And in the past, my scripts have been really character-driven with fairly simple plots. And now I'd written one with many, many complicated plot twists. Back to Altered States, which really affected me deeply because I know we can do things with our minds that change everything of what we're living. It's all about the primordial search. Eddie uses his intellect to try to get there. He never even gets close to what he's truly looking for. But it's all about the search. Altered States. Dr. Edward Jessup, candidate for a Nobel Prize, is conducting the most dangerous experiment in the history of science. And the subject of the experiment is himself.